hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruel YouTuber that is trying to have a year long no buy. So far it's going great. And today I'm going to talk about seven palettes that I want to use more now when it's spring and yeah, seven more fun palettes maybe. So I think we just hop into this. And I wasn't sure if I was going to say that this is seven spring palettes or seven summer palettes, but I, I'm sticking with spring because it's soon as hopeful spring here in Sweden. It has snowed in some parts of Sweden and uh, a little bit here as well. And I live in the south of Sweden, but okay. Um, where was I going with that one? I don't know. <laughs> this is seven palettes that I want to use now when it's starting to become a little bit warmer, a little bit lighter. The sun is back in Sweden, but also I want to just... I use whatever I want, whenever I want, but sometimes like... I have had the urge to do like pink and purple now the latest weeks, I don't know why, but yeah, I, I don't know why I make this hard for myself, maybe I should just show you the palettes and we get on with this. And of course I have some pastels that I want to talk about. The first palette is a Creepy Cute from Shroud, and they have actually come with a Creepy Cute too, which I'm not buying for obvious reasons and they also did restock this one and this is one of my absolute favorite pastel palettes it's such a fun little palette and it is amazing colors and the payoff and like the intensity of the colors is just amazing and this is actually a palette that I have used kind of much for being a pastel palette. I've done Free Looks One palettes. I've done palette bingo with this one and I have had a shroud week. So I have used this quite a lot for being me, but I really want to use this more and really like to do a bright, fun, but a little bit crunchy maybe with the black that spring for me. <laughs> so this one I want to use more. So yeah, and this is just an amazing palette. Another pastel palette that I have that I haven't used that much, I think I've used it two times maybe or three times, is the Pastel Pop from Minardi. I have used some of the shades together with other palettes, but just this palette I haven't used that much. And it looks like this. This isn't the same amazing shadows as in the Creepy Cute. These doesn't have the most amazing payoff all of the colors, but there is more to choose from in this one. And I really do like that it is a yellow in this one and I do like the pink and I do like this shimmer as well, but I want to use this so much more. I just don't know to do what with. Maybe just add a pop of color in another look. Or I think I did like a rainbow look with this. I'm not sure, but I think I did and I love to do these looks. Like two different eyes and try to do like a rainbow. And maybe I could use this together with the creepy cute. I think this would be a really fun combo to use these two together. Another palette that I really want to use, and I've been so close to use this, I don't know, five times, but I have used it not to, I really don't know why, but it's from Beach Cosmetics and their Sweet Shop, and this is the Cotton Candy, so this is the pink and purple one, and yes, I don't know what it is, but pink and purple, now I have a green look, but if you look back a couple of videos, there is a lot of pink and purple. And I haven't used my BH Cosmetics a lot, like, at all. I did a really super long video with all of them, all the Sweet Shop. But this one, or all of them I really want to use more, but this one, 
it's something about this one right now that makes me really 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 want to use it but I haven't but it is such the quality is amazing and the colors I love them so I really need to use it it is kind of dark but not really dark and then the palette that I actually did use yesterday I was doing a look outside of YouTube and this palette I think it's so fun to use this but it's not my like typical color story and it's a little mean palette from Lethal. They did these pre-made six pan palettes and I bought this memento palette, this pinkish one and this is just so so good. I do love Lethal, they do one of my absolute favorite formula when it comes to eyeshadows but this little palette it's just it's just an amazing little pinkish palette that has some depth to it with this one and the shimmers are really good and I just love the mix with this one and I have loved every look that I've done with it. Yesterday I did take this one and this shimmer one and it's just a really fun pinkish look but it's not like too pink. This one I also want to use more. This palette I did really love last summer and I've been thinking about this palette but I haven't done anything with it and it's the Sweet Talk from Colourpop. I know that a lot of people talk about this and really do love it and I do it as well even though when I look at this palette I don't see me in it but it's just something about this and it feels like everybody not everybody maybe but a lot of people see something special about this even though maybe it's not their color story but yeah I do really really like this I don't like the background and I think well, maybe it's working kind of good doesn't look too bad in the viewfinder but this palette, it's, it has something, I can't like put my finger on it, but it's something with it that makes me really want to just take it out, do a look. Yeah. Then I have a palette from <laughs> Nabla and this palette is discontinued. I do really, really like this palette and uh, I know that a lot of people doesn't. And I don't know why, but it's the Soul Blooming. It looks like this. The thing that I love most about this, I think it is because it has a lot of depth to it. It has some really dark colors and this is also like a really easy palette to use. If you want, I have done a free looks one palette with this one. If you want to do a neutral look, you have everything for a neutral look. If you want to do a pinkish look, you have everything for a pinkish look. If you want to do purpley blue look, you have everything for that as well. And it's just a really, really good formula. I think this was their second palette. I think, yeah, Dreaming was their first palette and then they come out with this Soul Blooming. And this was actually the first palette I bought from Nabla. And I just love it and I think it's really really good. I don't actually know why they did continue this one because it is such a good palette and I think it has a nice place in the range but for some reason they did discontinue this one. But this one I really want to use more. And the last palette that I think might surprise some of you and it did surprise me as well when I was like looking on all my palettes I was thinking about what do I want to use more but I want to use this more because I didn't decluttering this one in my decluttering video and it's the Juvia's Place to say and this palette I don't know it <laughs> looks like this and I know that a lot of my friends do really like this one. I do not, but I couldn't decluttering it because I do really like the more boring colors in this one. I think that chocolate, berry mousse, crepe and uh, 
creme is really really good and also tart is good the other one like custard puffs is good as well but like these two I don't really know but I really want to give this more chances and more you you use <laughs> I want to use this more and see like did I made the right choice I can always decluttering it I know that but for some reason I kept this one and I really want to use it more to see like was it a smart choice to keep it or wasn't it I don't know it's it's something about I, I don't like it but it's something about this palette that like I can't I can't decluttering it and yeah that was all the seven palettes I want to talk about and I'm thinking if I maybe should try to do looks with all of these palettes in the near future. I'm trying to get back to somewhat a schedule, but I'm finding it hard to find motivation. I think it's because of my no buy and also because I've been working really, really much this year. But um, I want to find fun ways to do things with palettes in my collection and I find it kind of hard to do that so maybe if I take these seven palettes and try to do at least one look each out of them and see if I can inspire you if you have some of these palettes or similar colors in your collection to do a look but I just want to do this to try to find something to do videos about I think this year if I'm going to, if I succeed with this now, but I think this is going to be a year where I try to figure things out, try to find new ways to do things, and I think you just have to put up with it. Maybe think this is boring as hell, and I'm so sorry for that, but I have to try to find ways to do, use my collection and do videos and right now I do not know what I should do but these palettes I'm going to try to do looks with in the near future I think I maybe should put them like in a little box here on my table so I see them I can think what I want to do so yeah hopefully you <laughs> like this and hopefully you will like to see looks with these palettes and I hope that I will manage to do a look with each of these. So yeah I do really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribing to my channel please do so you don't miss any of my videos and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!